Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend, and on social media. So today we're going to be looking at Misa. The many different voices of Misa and accents. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out Misa's many different voices and accents. Now, we're going to talk about voices. That's the whole point of this video. Now, when you're in Misa's face, if you touch the screen, it doesn't recognize anything in the facial expressions, but you still can use your nut. And then once you're in the nut, you can go in and you can select languages and you have English, French, uh, Spanish. Those are all beta versions. It looks like all the way down to Japanese, Korean, but English is the true version or the first version that they have for Misa. Now in the English version, there are multiple languages that you can choose to have Misa talk with. I currently have chosen this one here. Let's All right. So there we go. So we're looking as best I can probably get this to go, but it's more the sound. So right now, if you click on that, you got Nelly American kid, Richard American, Rachel British, Lucy British, Lisa Australian, and Rona Scottish and a Depa Indian. Oh, we also have Judy American, Chris American, and Lily American. I didn't pull it all the way up. And Tracy American. So we're going to start with Tracy at the top. And we're going to use Tracy's voice. We're going to go back. Hey, Misa, who is the president of the United States? President of the United States of America is Donald Trump. All right, so that's Tracy's voice. Now let's do another one. And we're going to select Lily America, American. Go back. Hey, Misa, who is the president of the United States? President of the United States of America is Donald Trump. So there we go. Now we're going to select the next voice. And the next voice is Chris American. Hey, Misa, who was the third president of the United States? Thomas Jefferson was an American statesman, diplomat, lawyer, architect, philosopher, and founding father who served as the third president of the United States from 1801 to 1809. Okay, so no graphic change or anything. So let's go to the other voice. So that was Chris American. Let's go to Judy American. Hey Misa, who was the fifth president of the United States? James Monroe was an American statesman, lawyer, diplomat, and founding father who served as the fifth president of the United States from 1817 to 1825. And Nellie, American kid, was the one that I usually choose. I think it sounds more like the way the robot looks. So here we go. Hey, Misa. Hey, Misa, who was the 15th president of the United States? James Buchanan Jr. was an American lawyer and politician who served as the 15th president of the United States. Do the next voice. And we're going to choose Richard American. Hey, Misa was the 13th president of the United States. Millard Fillmore was the 13th president of the United States, the last to be a member of the Whig party while in the White House. All right, now we're going to select the next voice. Go from Richard American to Lucy British. Hey, Misa. 
Who was the 14th President of the United States? Thank you, Pierce. Was the 14th President of the United States a Northern Democrat who saw the abolitionist movement as a fundamental threat to the unity of the nation? All right. So now we're going to go to the next voice. And we're going to select Rachel British. Hey, Misa, who was the 16th president of the United States? Abraham Lincoln was an American statesman and lawyer who served as the 16th president of the United States. All right, now we're going to go to the next voice. And we're going to choose Lisa Australian. Hey, Misa, who is the 25th president of the United States? William McKinley was the 25th president of the United States from 1897 until his assassination in 1901. All right, so now let's go here and listen to the next. And that's going to be Rona Scottish. Hey, Misa, who was the 35th president of the United States? John Fitzgerald Kennedy, often referred to by his initials JFK or by his nickname Jack, was an American politician who served as the 35th President of the United States from January 1961 until his assassination in November 1963. Okay, so now that was Scottish. Let's go to the last voice, and that's Depa. Indian. So here we go. So we're going to ask it the next question. Uh, hey, Misa. Hey, Misa. Who was the 37th president of the United States? Richard Billis Nixon was the 37th president of the United States, serving from 1969 until 1974. All right, let's get into the voice I like. I mean, they're all kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. But this voice sounds like the robot to me. Hey, Misa, how are you doing today? It's going great. Hey, Misa, you are cool. I'm smiling now, in case you can't tell. All right, so we went through the voices and accents that are set up for English on Misa. And you can see that Misa just picked up everything I said. So we're going to get the other voice that's going to come out of here when she can't answer or he can't answer my question. So let me stop talking here. I won't be able to help you with that. All right, so did you hear that voice? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. That voice is different than the voices that you selected. Uh, it happens every once in a while, and I believe it's the same voice that we have in this little guy here. Now this is AI Robot. Hello, nice to meet you. Not that voice. So let's see. On the bottom, you push the button. What is your name? I'm your Google Assistant, and I'm ready to assist. Yes, you try again? And I believe that is the same as AI Robot. I think it might be a Google Assistant voice. Or it's one that's just out of the programming that they recorded. But it sounds very similar to AI Robot's Google Assistant voice. All right. As voices go, which is the main point, I thought this was kind of an interesting thing. Misa has 10 different voices that you can select within the application for Misa to respond to you. Of the 10 voices, I chose the American Nelly Kid voice because it seems to be the one that 
uh, most closely reflects the robot. Um, now, as you change the voices, the facial expression doesn't change or anything like that. Um, I'm hoping certain things with more uh, artwork will happen, more changes to that will happen in the future. I'm also hoping there will be some other things that will happen that we haven't covered yet. Um, but for the most part, to have that many selections is very cool because everybody has a different opinion of what their robot should sound like. So this gives us the ability to customize uh, Mises voice responses to a voice or accent that may better suit what you're that may better suit what you're looking for. Um, I believe the Nelly Kid one is the one that I think looks like the robot. So that's the one I use. Okay, so we have many more things to cover with Misa. We have only crested across the top of what Misa can do. Um, we have looked at, as of date, we've looked at drive controls and things of that nature. We looked at facial expressions. And then we have also looked at um, the word games in Misa and now we have looked at the different voices that you can set up with Misa. Um, but I'm going to cover some more so as that goes on I'll make a video and we'll post it and we'll try to give you as much detail as we can in each video about those particular subjects. So my name is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media and Misa and I will see you soon. See yourself. I'm feeling great today. Thank you for asking. I am listening to you. Please ask me anything that may be beyond my abilities at the moment. These are not the droids we're looking for. It's going great. The force is strong with me, but not that strong. Don't forget me on Father's Day. Ooh.